So you can practice that. So do you see how just getting that... Okay guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to teach you a really cool different pattern in your left hand that you can apply to any chord. The cool thing about this video is that if you master the techniques I show you here and you're able to play that pattern, then it's going to be a tool in your toolbox to change up what your left hand does. A lot of people sound basic on the piano with their chords because their left hand does the same exact thing all the time. Let me give you an example. So, Watch my left hand. So do you see this kind of little switch up I did? It really adds a lot to the song. Instead of just playing Let It Be by the Beatles with the basic chords. Okay, that sounds pretty cool, but if you're able to add some syncopation and then this little pattern I'm gonna show you, watch, you can transform your playing into this. So, Let's jump into things, let's jump into the pattern, then I'll show you how you can apply it to different chords and then hopefully this will be a huge help to you. So if we were starting on a C chord in the key of C, then we know that we can use all the white notes, right? Okay, so the pattern goes like this. You take your basic triad or basic inversion of a chord. Let's just start with a, a root position chord here. And if you don't know what that means, no worries. You can check out the basics on my website up here for free to learn about the basics of piano so that you can get the best out of today's lesson. So if we were starting here, here's the pattern. You hit your outside notes and then you hit your top two notes. Okay, but in between that, your pointer finger is going to have a job. So you have outside notes of the chord and then the top two notes of the chord. The pointer finger is going to hit in between each of those hits and we're gonna hit the note that is in between right there. So you have this pointer finger every time in between. So you can practice that. How just getting that rhythm going in the left hand how that sparks some creativity you could even just start messing around some basic melody lines here getting that left hand pattern going now let me show you something else if you were to kind of do the pattern down here notice that I switch from these notes then to these notes I like to do this little trick with this pattern so how would it go so we have outside notes and then it's always the two finger in between that's how I do the pattern okay this is a pattern I figured out playing in church that could kind of fill in uh, the gap and give a different feel to the chords okay so two fingers always in between as a single note so you have outside notes two finger in between and then these notes two finger in between okay and you can mess around with things and I'll switch to the first pattern okay so if you were to use this in let it be Okay, let's use it on all the chords. So the first chord of the chorus is let it be A minor, and then let it be C, and then F. Okay, so if we were to use it on all the chords, it doesn't sound the best because it's just a little overwhelming, but I'll give you a cool idea of things. So A minor, I'm gonna use it down here. Uh, let's use it right here. Okay, so you can just kind of figure out what notes you wanna use. So. doesn't sound the best like I had mentioned already because it's overwhelming so pick and choose your spots and my GoPro is gonna die on me so I'm gonna say my GoPro died but I'm gonna leave it at that pick and choose your spots you can use this on different chords let me just finish the video here uh, showing you a little bit of this whole let it be on Jesse F chord again and I'll show you that pattern and we'll leave it there okay so let it What did I do here? Okay, I took an inversion of my F chord, and so the pattern follows like this, guys. You have outside notes. Remember, pointer finger has a job to do. And then 
those notes and then back to my pointer finger and then repeat it. And then like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I have lots of cool tips and tricks that will help you with your chord piano and help you get creative on the piano so you can flow and sound good doing it. As always, guys, make sure to check out my paid content. If you think that this was helpful for you and if you're stuck on the piano and you've been enjoying the piano but not so much because you're stuck, get unstuck with my methods. I can help you. I offer mentoring. Check out my packages up here on my website. It is paid stuff, but it's a one-time payment. That's the coolest part about it. It's a good investment if you're serious about piano. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And sorry, my GoPro died. <laughs> oh. Okay, you made it to the end. One in every four of my viewers clicks right there to learn how to play like me. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. You can click on my beautiful face right there if you'd like. And your next video is right here.